and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast brought to you by Last Man Standing with Loserpool.com. As ever, I'm your host, Harry Simiu, and on this quick video, we'll be looking back at Unai Emery's latest press conference ahead of the visit of Napoli on uh, Thursday night in the Europa League. Uh, let's hear what the boss had to say. Now, he was initially asked about the latest team news and his response was, we're going to decide tomorrow, referring to Xhaka and Koscielny. Tomorrow we will decide, Unai Emery says. So uh, there's still a chance that the two of those players could be involved, which is, of course, positive news. Uh, Emery was also asked about Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Um, and Emery had this to say, he's had a small problem. He's been taking antibiotics for his sickness. For tomorrow, he is getting better and can start. Uh, so that would probably explain why uh, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang was maybe left out up at Everton on Sunday. Now, of course, as expected, Unai Emery was asked about Mesut Ozil throwing his coat Um that was always going to hit the headlines, wasn't it? And Emery's response to that question was, our focus is the match, taking confidence and being together, being calm when bad results come. Three months ago, this moment, like we are now, we are on a good day. But each match now is going to be very important. We are within our target. We know it's going to be difficult, but the best thing for us is to be together and strong, calm and with clear focus. So in true Unai Emery fashion, he's completely dodged that question. Um... Lacazette was also alongside Unai Emery in this press conference and he was asked about Arsenal going one further in this season's Europa League competition. He said, last season we failed to make it to the final. This season we want to go forward and play until the very end. We know we are better at home than away. It's really important for us, but we know as well we can do a good result away. Uh, so Alexander Lacazette, they're acknowledging the fact that Arsenal have been poor on the road this season. Um you know, it's something that obviously the players are aware of. And, and that's a positive, I suppose, in itself. Fingers crossed we can turn that around because, you know, Napoli is going to be a very, very difficult trip. So we need to get a positive result, in my opinion, anyway, uh, on Thursday night. Lacazette was also asked whether he enjoys playing with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. I think that's a little bit of a silly question, given that we can all see the, the relationship between the two. He says, Obe is a good player. We play well together. I like to play with all my players. Um so uh, straight to the point answer there from Alexander Lacazette. Now, Emery was asked about Napoli. Uh, he said, I think it's 50-50. Napoli have a big history like us. They're second in the table. They're playing very well. They came from a strong group in the Champions League in which they were very competitive. It's going to be difficult for us, but we have confidence. We need to be very consistent in the next two matches. Now, Emery was then asked about his... Um, trophy winning experience he was asked about his own and Carlo Ancelotti's he says I have a great respect for every coach Ancelotti is top his career is amazing for me my challenges every day and every year all I did in my past is only for taking experience I need to now make a new future this match is a big match at the level we want to play it's a big test for us we want to play against the best teams and Napoli are one of them um, Emery was asked what the secret is uh, about playing at home because as we've said and as we've spoken about on recent shows the the contrast between our home and away form has been so great Emery had this to say on on the home form he said we need to be consistent each match each match gives a lot of information our balance is getting better but isn't enough we need to win tomorrow if we won't concede chances to score it's important they have good performances in the season. We need to be very, very competitive in 90 minutes. Our idea is to win and not concede goals. We are prepared for extra time or penalties. It's going to be a very, very good game tomorrow. So again, you know, Unai Emery not really giving a straight answer. And I do wonder sometimes whether it's down to his um, lack of, uh, of understanding of the English language, perhaps. And maybe he struggles to articulate his points, I guess. Um... Lacazette was then asked about Arsenal's Champions League hopes and he said, quite damningly actually, Sunday we all played bad. He admitted it. Um, we didn't do what the coach asked us. We still have confidence. We want to win a trophy and we are confident. Um, so yeah, you know, that, that that's great um, to hear that, you know, they are focused and that they acknowledge that the performance on Sunday was poor. There's no excuses. Lacazette's just come out and said it, pure and simple. We will not do what the coach asked us to do. That is a really, really important message, in my opinion. Uh, Lacazette was asked if Ozil inspires him, and he said he's a leader. Sometimes you do something you shouldn't do. Um, 
referring to, I'm assuming, the coat throwing incident, which in my opinion is no no real big deal. Um, Lacazette was then quizzed on our away form. He said, we have fans, so we feel more confident. Some days you don't play like you want to, and that's it. Um, you know, very straight to the point, short uh, and, and to the point, uh, answers uh, from Alexander Lacazette. Unai Emery, a little bit more, um, what's the word? A little bit more of a, being a little bit of a more of a politician, I should say. Dodging answers, going around them. Um, again, I'll emphasise the point. I don't know if that's down to his uh, lack of understanding of the English language, but we'll see. Big game on Thursday night. Let's hope we can take uh, a positive result into the second leg next week. Uh, we'll be back on Friday morning with a podcast reviewing the Napoli game, of course, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit like, hit share, and uh, we'll be bringing you more coverage of all things Arsenal over the next few months.